If you're looking for the title of most unlikely team to be playing in the state baseball tournament this week, it's probably the Grand Rapids Thunderhawks. They started the season at 1-9, and, and at one point they were 3-13. and 13. However, a late season surge gave them the Section 7-3A crown and a trip to Seabird Field. While their record looks bad on paper, their early season was filled with games against talented large schools, which has paid off come playoff time. We're willing to take a beating early in the year because they show us what we need to work on and practice, what, what we're not good at. Beginning of the year we were all tight and we weren't playing like we could, you know, and then we started hitting, throwing strikes, and that's really what changed it for us. Uh, it was good playing those good teams, and I mean, you'd, I would rather have a worse record than a better record if we were playing down teams. and. When we go down and play Minnetonka and all those guys that help us a lot, and I think it'll be good. The reporter told me after the championship game that we were 1-9 and nine at one point, and I had no idea that, that we were that bad because we just play one pitch at a time and, and try to win the next pitch because in baseball that's all you can do. While they came into sections as underdogs, and the same for State, Grand Rapids definitely doesn't feel overmatched. You know, I think between our guys, we thought we were the number one team, but and we were te technically the underdogs, and it was good to get that win. And obviously, we do need to win that first game to get going, but I think we can do it. We just got to get the bats going. We hit a lot. We got to make eliminate the errors and mistakes out in the field, and from there, we should be good. Well, the Thunderhawks will try and shock the world starting this Thursday at 10 a.m. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.